exercise and number six was to nourish the body properly and number five was limit media use social and otherwise and number four, four. four was to live intentionally and, and we're down to the final well, well to the third three. the number three <laughs> but the one for today is yes. forgive quickly forgive quickly what do you want to say about that well uh, thinking that we are approaching Valentine's Day, um, this is a good topic to talk about because yes, um, we know that in our relationships there are things that come up and, um, and uh, we can hold on to things quickly and particularly maybe women, but you know, um, I'm sure there are some men that can do that as well. And so... We are encouraging you to forgive quickly. There is a uh, biblical verse that talks about don't let the sun go down on your anger. And so I think that's a good word is um, when we know that we are angry about something or we need to um, have some type of reconciliation that we do that quickly, that we don't harbor it because in harboring bitterness or resentment or unforgiveness or any of those things, um, it affects our body, it affects our mental um, uh, capacity and it definitely affects the relationship. So not that you don't address it, but to work through it and to forgive quickly because the long and short of it is, is that the more quickly you forgive, the easier or the, the quicker you're able to um, focus on the positive things. That's good. So. Well, um, I'm encouraged to know that before the foundation of the world, God sent Christ to die for us. And that means he already knew what he was going to do when it came to forgiving man, mankind for their sins. Obviously, the, the consequences played out for our forefathers, Adam and Eve, and they died, literally, uh, where that wasn't going to be so had they not sinned. But that encourages me to know that God loves us that much to have already enacted a rescue plan to save our hearts. Those who would come to him uh, in, the, in the annals of time, uh, years and years and thousands of years, and that includes me and Karen. So when I reflect on how much he loved me enough to forgive me immediately, even before I actually sin, it, it reminds me of how fast I'm supposed to, you know, surrender my will, my pride, uh, and turn to my wife if I have an odd against her to say, forgive me or uh, of something I've done or, and, or me forgive her for something she's done for me. And I realize now about my wife is that she doesn't intend to, to, to hurt me or to... Uh-oh, where are we going with uh, this? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I take offense sometimes quickly and, and I, realize, I, I realize I have to confess that I'm a very sensitive individual. Um, and man, we don't like to admit that we're sensitive, but, you know, we, we can, you know, internalize some stuff and, you know, we've been told never to cry and all that, but we'll retreat to our man cave and we'll go shed a tear quickly and I'm gonna be honest I got leaky gaskets but but I appreciate uh, my wife and I know that she doesn't intend to hurt me or do things that may offend and her heart is genuine as a matter of fact her name is pure and she's a pure uh, beautiful uh, pure inner woman and I thank God for her so man we are to return <coughs> repent 
and ask forgiveness when we know that we're wrong. Don't hold it in your heart because stress can kill you. Literally, have heart attacks and, and blood, you know, high blood pressure, and that's a, probably a culprit to a lot of our diseases now. Is the fact that we don't want to, uh, you know, turn from our pride. So that's what I have to say about it. You know, and I think I would just add one more thing. I was thinking of this uh, uh, saying something about when you hold bitterness or resentment or unforgiveness, it's like you are holding the poison within yourself wow. thinking that it's going to affect the other person. Right. But really, you it's poisoning you. And so, um, and the other person is not even affected. Uh and so they have their own cross to bear or their own issues to deal with. But but in forgiving, you release that poison or whatever is in you in order to free yourself, to heal yourself. Even if the other person may not receive your forgiveness, because sometimes that may happen. But you have released yourself, purify yourself, cleanse yourself so that healing can take um, place within yourself. So... So with that, we're out. We are out. Another Marriage and Relationship Monday. Yes, we'll see you the next time. Peace.